My name is Viola Brown. Welcome to my channel. AKA Nail Cover Lover. Let's get started. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be doing some playing around with some um, gel polishes and some carving gel. And we're going to make some flowers. Okay, I'm doing this just to show you that it's you can play around with stuff and figure out how to do stuff before you make your videos. That way you know what you're doing or just, just to play around. But yeah, I want to show you how I do some 3D flowers. So first I'm going to put on... Oh, no, this is top coat. I don't want the top coat. I'm going to use the Beauty Base Gel. So I'm going to put me some base gel on three of these tips. I mean, we might play around with more. I'm not sure. But I'll put these in here. And now most carving gels, you know, I have noticed that if you don't top coat them and you do a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of things with your nails they will get dull or they will change colors or turn it yellow oh well, look at that these are things are even stuck together but that's why i want in the end i will top coat my 3d flowers so that way they do not change color or dull out okay, i'm gonna put these in i'm at these cure and then i'm going to polish them with the azure which is these three colors. Now, there's no, there's numbers on there on these zeros, but I just like going by the colors. And they do have the, the tops on these that you can show the colors. But in the beginning, I just decided to do these poppet things in the front, but they'll work. All right, so I am going to let those cure, and I'll be right back, and we'll start painting a layer of these on, maybe two. Depends. Okay, let's get started. First off, I am going to go ahead and take a lint-free wipe and some isopropyl alcohol, which is 70% alcohol. Got that in my little pump bottle over here, and I'm going to clean off the sticky inhibition layer on here. And that way, my gel, uh, my carb gel, will stick to the nails more better. Look like a matte surface. And let's put that to the side. Alrighty, let's turn these around. And I have my air fur carb gel, and it's a green and a white. So let's get my little tool here. I'm going to get this to help me out a little bit too. Alright, now I'm going to get me some, this one here, and I'm going to carve out some little balls. Some little tiny balls. I right, just want a little bit here. Three, four. And let's see if that'll be enough. Put the lid back on here. And I'm going to get this, put me some alcohol on my fingers. And I'm going to split this and make these smaller. So that way we can make our balls tinier. And I'm also going to be making some leaves with some green. Okay, put those there. How is everybody doing? My name is Viola Brown. If you're new to my channel, I hope you decide to join our little family. And if you like what you see, I hope you give me a big old thumbs up. And in the comment section down below, tell me what you think. And I hope you hit that bell. That way you get notified of new uploads when I upload them on YouTube. I hope you enjoy. If you've been here with me, welcome back, guys. I love each and every one of you. All right, we got those there. Now let's get some of the green. Wipe off my little tool here. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to roll them into little balls as well. Now that I made a mess on that one of them. And just put that over here. And it's easier if you roll them in little balls. And when you put them on the nail, they're more easier to control. To make your leaves or your petals. And I do have my silicone tool. Is what I'll be using today. And I got that one from, I believe, Wish. Now these all don't have to be the same size. They can be different sizes, as you can see. I'll show you here in just a second. Got different sizes on my palette. And all I'm going to do is start adding these. And 
we're gonna make some 3D flowers. Let me find me some green polish for the stem. Let's see what I got up here, guys. I'm looking. I got everything all strewn about right now. Here we go. We'll use this one. This pretty, pretty color here. All right. Now, let's pick up one of my beads. And I will be using alcohol as a slip solution between this if it gets sticky. All right, let's pick up this bigger one. I'm going to set it right here. And what you want to do is just like you would do with acrylic, you just want to start patting it down and put it to where you want it. I know I got my thumb in the way right now. it down a little more if it doesn't want to stick to the nail so i'm going to curve these up to make these a little bit curvy up and i'm going to put a little indention in there and pat that see how it's got the like the different kind of lines in it that'll give you some dimension and i'm gonna go ahead and cure that so that way that doesn't move when i'm doing my nails Okay, we're going to do a different style on this one. It's just going to be your basic petal. You can take your tool and push it down like that in the middle. And we're going to make that one a little bit more rounded on the edges. Okay, let's get that pushed back down. Okay, now we're going to stick that one in. I'm using like the bigger ones for this one. And I'm going to go ahead and squish that down. Put my little indention. Okay, now I do have that one kind of overlapping and I'm doing it for kind of a reason, and I'll show you here in a few minutes. That one didn't want to stick. Oh, hell, cramp. It's wanting to stick to the glove <laughs> more than it's wanting to stick to this. Okay, get my petals all the way I want them. Make my intention. Another one right here. Okay, now the first layer doesn't really matter like what you got in the middle because I'm going to be doing the 3D ones on this. So I can flatten that out a little bit more. Alright, I'm going to put this in and let that one cure and get this one out. Okay, let me get this one more better. Alright, there's that one. Too long. Okay, get me another one. I am not liking this one up here too much. So I'm going to scoot him over and put another petal up here. Right 
Okay, now I'm going to put this in on the it here. Now I'm going to get another one of these. And I'm going to center it into the spot that doesn't have a petal. Well, I just whacked that one right in half, you guys. <laughs> now, what you want to do with your second ones is kind of cure, curl up your edge lines. Spread this out. I know what I'm not doing. I'm not putting no alcohol on my dotting tool. That's what I'm not doing. So I stick it. There we go. Okay, I'm going to hollow out that middle a little bit. Bring up my tip. Now, when I put some color on this, you'll see the difference. Let me go ahead and flash cure, or cure that. Because if I don't, it's going to get messed up when I do the next step. Okay, now, on this flower, I'm going to show you something a little bit different in the middle. So, what I'm going to do here is right in the middle, I'm going to put my ball, flatten out some of the edges to the petals. And then in the middle, I'm going to put And then I'm going to get some beads. Let me find my tray here, wherever my tray went. I'm going to put a few of these little beads in here. Okay, let's get... I'm going to put one right there. Well... Now I'm going to take my tool here, or you can use your um, silicone tool, and I'm just going to smash those into that middle. Okay, I'm going to let that one cure. And I am curing these for 60 seconds, guys. Okay, we're going to have to make some more white balls. Okay, there's that one. All right, let me get some more white card gel out. Okay, let's get this one. I'm going to put it right there. Some more alcohol. Here. Okay, now next what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put some leaves. It's just your basic thing, what you just done with your flower petals up there, but you're going to make them come into a point. And 
and two of these. Well, this stuff just likes sticking to these gloves, I'll tell you that much. More better than it likes to stick to the... Can I use my flat end? I'm going to move this one right there. Kind of smush it out. Okay, you see how it made like a different style of leaf? that leaf. Let's give it some lines for dimension like leaves have. Alright, there's that one. Now I'm going to, on this one, take some blooming gel, which is basically ink, and I'm going to put some different colors in the middle of my flower. Now you can take a smaller brush, let me find me a smaller brush, guys. Where are you? Oh, well, we're just going to use the brush that's on there. Because then, then we'll take the uh, bigger brush and change it up a little bit. And you just take some of the pink or whatever color you're using. And put it on there. And then take your brush. Put it in some alcohol. Because I want to put a little bit of the green or the like turquoise lined underneath the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to take a minute for you wipe. And now we're going to plot off most of this on the top parts of the leaves. Looks like it's dimension on it. Close up these ends because if I don't, I will spill them and I will make a big mess. Big time. Okay, now I am going to take 
the dollop of the green here. Just a smidgen. And make me another ball. And put it in the middle. Get off of my glove. Okay, get my tool. Push down in the middle. And make it round. tool and pick up. Isn't that pretty? Alrighty, I think this one we will go with a different color of ink. Let me clean off my brush. And you know, I think I might just make this one. Oh, look how I just filled in the cracks. See that? So beautiful. And these are the McCart Blooming Gels. As I call them, ink split. Okay, we're gonna fade that a little bit right there. And there I will not have to uh, wipe off the top because I like the way that one is itself. Okay, let's put that in. Let's like, get another Curo Bites and get this one out. I'm not liking that coloration around there, so let's find us a different color. Oh, we don't want that one. Let's see what this one is. Oh, here we go. Let's try this orange just yellow. I'm not liking this one too much. This one is just kind of fading out. It's just so. Yeah, that color's not going to work either. I'm going to try the blue. I'm going to try mine. Let's probably go make it green. There we go. It'll look better when I put some top coat on it. See what we got going on here. Squish. Squish. Now you see how that automatically just by squishing them just almost makes a flower itself, you know what I mean? Now you just take your dotting tool or whichever tool you want. And we're just going to create some lines. Let's try this tool. This one's an easy way to do, guys. Just poke your holes out. Try not to lose the shape of your petals. If you do, just kind of fix it. And you can do that. Now, in the middle of this one, I'm going to kind of flat it down. We'll take one to green. And let's get the smaller circle. Well, dot, whatever you want to call it. And stick it 
stick it in the middle. And then take a dotting tool. And smush it up. Super, super cute. And to keep with the theme, we're going to put another... Flatten it out. Take a dotting tool. Most people have dotting tools, at least like a um a bobby pin. And just make your leaves. If you want to change up the shape, add a hair on there and get that off. Take your tool and shape it up. And that's that. That's an easy one for that one. All right, let's get these out. I'm going to put the lids on this. If I don't, like I said, I'll spill it. I'm going to be using the Putee. Oh, how that says. And I'm going to top coat this. I'm going to show you the difference in the top coats of what it looks like. The top coat makes a big difference. I put a little bit too much on this one. <laughs> you don't want all that on there, just take your brush and swipe it off. This blue one turned out so pretty. This is an easy way to do it with if you've got card gel. Just take your time, and if you don't think you can do it, practice before you, you know, just keep practicing. All right, let's put this in like that one here. And this is the one I'm wondering about. You know what? I think I'm going to put some different colored gel on top of... This one is like a glittery orange. So I'm going to put some of that right here. And it is also easier. And we're going to get our brush. No liner brush. And I'm going to put some orange in the middle of this one. This is a yellow. I'm gonna use a yellow on this one. The other one was like an orangey yellow. This one's just a yellow. See how they drop down into the crevices? It makes like the 3D effect of the flower. Super cute. Let me see. I think I'm gonna put some of this yellow orange in the middle. No pink. I'm gonna put a pink around the middle. Alright. Get this other one out. And let's top coat. This one's not, I'm not too fond of. It's just missing something or something. Not too much or something. I'm not sure. Alright, let's talk to this one. Get 
this one out. Now, let's get this real pretty. Clean here. And this from Blueness. Alright, now let's make clean my brush here. Load my brush. I think this one's my favorite, you guys. No, I don't think that cured properly. Okay, now this one, I'm going to do fine on that. It's a cutie mat. We're going to do the, not this one, but the other one. We're going to do it. These two are going to be shiny. And then this one's going to be matte. Let's we'll see if it changes it up any. Alright, let's give these two top coat around the roses, because, or the flowers, because when I put this gel, I think I like it with just the vine looking. Okay, I'll be right back with the end results. <laughs> 